Welcome to another edition of Eyes on the Tigers, Channel 97 News. And here's what you'll see on today's show. We take a look at a younger generation of Tigers. We'll see how an OHS graduate is making her way to the top in college sports. We find out what's new with this year's Mr. OHS. And we get the chance to take on Oakville's own varsity baseball team. We'll have all that and much more on today's edition of Eyes on the Tigers, Channel 97 News. And it all starts now. Welcome back to Eyes on the Tigers, Channel 97 News. I'm Madeline Jones. And I'm Casty Hamm. For our first story, we say goodbye to an important OHS administrator. But this is not the end of his career. Lauren Siebel has a story. Assistant Principal Mr. Willett has moved his way up the ranks quickly here at Oakville. This is my ninth year at Oakville. Um, I came here as a coach initially, uh, and then I got hired on as in-school suspension and daily assigned sub. I did that for two years and then I left uh, for a year to work with the Cardinals and then came back as a business teacher and uh, did business for four years and then three years as an assistant principal. Many teachers here at Oakville were influenced by Mr. Willett's contributions. In 2009 there became a position in the business department open and Mr. Willett was qualified to teach business with his experience with the St. Louis Cardinals. I actually got to be his mentor and got to uh, oversee his first year of teaching. Mr. Willett uh, was a very big driving force with our facilities as well as the technology piece in the building. Um, those are probably the major areas that took a lot of his time as well as the supervision of teachers, uh, having his class, uh, the activities that we have after school. Sadly, Mr. Will will not be returning next year. It's a hard decision, but I'm leaving to work in commercial real estate, and I'll be doing some commercial property development and, and buying and selling. Let's see how this will affect Oakville. I think he was well-liked by the kids. He was well-liked by staff. Um, brought an energy to our team in the building that I think will be missed. If moving forward, you try to find somebody who's going to fit the team, fit, fit our students, fit our culture and our building, and, you know, teachers, so that it's not as big of a gap. We're hoping we can find the right candidate with that and move forward. Good luck to Willett and his future career. With Jonathan Dean behind the camera, I'm Lauren Siebel for Channel 97 News. Good luck to Mr. Willett on his future career. You may have noticed the new electronic sign in front of the school. The sign was installed over spring break. The marquee outside has been kind of a dream, a thing we've wanted to do probably for the last eight, nine years, and they're expensive. Uh, so we've been saving some classes monies uh, after they graduate in order to do that. So that's why one of the pieces you see up there is thanks a lot to the last two classes. The nice thing about that sign is that it does have the capability, and we're still going through some tutorials and some training on how to do it, but um, the pixels on it and whatnot allow us so we can do actual um, video. We could also put pictures of, like, kids. And by doing that, you know, it just helps to promote all the good things that we're doing here at Oakville. Congratulations to Aaron Mohabit and Sean Lamar. Both students qualified for nationals for speech and debate. So Aaron and I qualified in congressional debate, um, and we'll be doing that at nationals on June 12th to the 17th um, in Salt Lake City, Utah. <laughs> um, um, I don't think that I'll break past the first point, um, but I'm really excited for the supplemental events that we get to do after that. Um, so I'll be doing poetry, the piece that I did last year at State. Um, hopefully I can go pretty far in that. Another congratulations to Bailey Foster for qualifying for DECA Nationals. She placed first in the state competition in March. Hey Cass, I heard about that. That's super exciting. Yeah, but what's with the dress, Matt? Oh, I'm just ready for prom. How are you going to get there? Uh, I think I'm going to end up driving. You should probably watch this next story then. Stay safe at Prom Oakville. With help from Cassidy Hamm, I'm Allison Carter for Channel 97 News. 
Cass, your little brother is so cute. You're so good with kids. Thanks, but not as good as these parenting students. Here's our story on tiger tots. Recently around Oakville, you might have seen little kids roaming the hallways. These kids belong to a program called Tiger Tots. Tiger Tots is a preschool program uh, that is run by our child development too. Tiger Tots has been in Oakville since I've been here, which is 17 years ago. When I was a student here at Oakville, it was a class as well. So it's been here for quite some time. It's a fixture of Oakville High School. One of the many unique things about taking this program is that the Oakville students become the teachers and teach the lessons to the kids. The students are the teachers. They are to develop their own lessons uh, geared around a particular subject area. And they develop the lesson, the activity that they do with the preschoolers that day. For the doctor, because you are hurt so your leg hurts, they're going to take an x-ray to see if you broke it. Well, I taught to them that doctors can be both men and women and they help us feel better when we are sick and we also get like shots and stuff for them to protect us from certain illnesses. Tiger Tots comes along with tons of fun and making relationships with the other kids. There's a lot of fun parts about Tiger Tots, uh, seeing the high schoolers interact with the preschoolers, uh, watching the preschoolers face light up when they see their buddy come in. Definitely seeing the kids like improve and socialize with each other and they kind of, they learn a lot and just they have a lot of fun. Tiger Tots prepares Oakville students for careers that involve children. In college I'm studying sport and recreation and I could go many different ways with that. I could possibly become like a gym teacher and I'll be working with kids then. So this class kind of helps me prepare for that. I want to be a special ed teacher and I want to work with little kids so I thought this would be a good opportunity to get used to making lesson plans and teaching them. With Amanda and Nick team behind the camera, I'm Abby Walters for Channel 97 News. Aw, those kids are so cute. You know what else is cute? Basketball players. Well, you can find plenty of basketball players in Gym A this Wednesday for the student versus teacher basketball game. Yeah, this will be our second annual student versus faculty basketball game. We're excited. We're going to have 10 to 12 teachers out there for it. And it looks like 18 to 20 students, mostly seniors, uh, non-basketball players. We'll get our basketball players out there to ref it. It'll be a lot of fun. Do a little fun event so seniors can beat up on the teachers like they did a couple years ago at a dodgeball game. I want to dunk on Willie. You know, he, he just, woo. I'm ready for Willie. Madeline, what happened? Oh, I'm just getting ready for tomorrow's spirit day. It's bacon injury day. Oh, okay. Let's check out this message from the leadership class. Hey guys, Mr. OHS is happening this Friday the 29th in Gym A at 7 p.m. And the pageant is raising money for Alex's Lemonade Stand, helping children fight cancer. So show your support all week with our annual Spirit Week. Hey! Check out the leadership Twitter page to see which Mr. OHS contestant has the most spirit. The winner at the end of the week will be crowned Mr. Spirit King. But you can win a prize for your spirit too with our new awards, Spirit Queen and Spirit King. Tag the leadership Twitter page with a photo of your spirit outfits and the leadership class will vote on the winner. The winners will be announced Friday at the assembly and the winners will win free tickets to Mr. OHS. So are you going to Mr. OHS? I'm not sure. Who's all participating? I don't know. Let's meet the guys. What's up, guys? I'm Luke Carroll, and I am Mr. Jazz Band. What's up, guys? I'm Nathan Doty, and I'm Mr. Marching Band. Hey, I'm Brett, and I'm Mr. Brass. How's it going? I'm Debbie Ghost, and I'm Mr. Pepper. Hi, I'm Alec Beshel, and I'm Mr. Mads. I'm Raul Gesserval, and I'm Mr. Potterpuff. I'm Jake Stegman, and I'm Mr. Golden Guys. I'm Griffin Daly, and I'm Mr. Cross Country. I'm Jake McClellan, and I'm Mr. Track. Hi, I'm Matt Heldofer, and I'm Mr. Football. I'm Ryan Mitchell, and I'm Mr. Golf. I'm Brad Sovich, and I'm Mr. Soccer. I'm Blake Gentry, and I'm Mr. Volleyball. And I'm Josh Coonsey, and I'm Mr. Basketball. I'm Kobe Allen, and I'm Mr. Broadcast. I'm Billy Goldstickey, and I'm Mr. Baseball. I'm Johnny Peters, and I'm Mr. Tiger Ice. I'm 
Jake Faulkner and I'm Mr. Hockey. My name is Matt Miller and I'm Mr. Quiz. I'm Corey Weber and I'm Mr. FBLA. I'm Jared Wall and I'm Mr. Decca. Hi, I'm Ian Bennett and I'm Mr. NHS. Hi, I'm Chad Oking and I'm Mr. Swift. Hi, I'm Vito Camerata and I'm Mr. Water Polo. I'm Austin Neal and I'm Mr. Wrestling. I'm Dan Getz and I'm Mr. Tiger Cage. Woo! Yeah! yeah. I'm Blake Fibo and I'm Mr. Diabetic. Hi, I'm Chris Cardano. I'm Mr. Leadership. Come see Mr. OHS. Time is running out to order your 2016 Tiger Paw Yearbook. Pick up order forms in the main office or room 234. Deadline is Friday, April 29th. Cass, what are you wearing? I'm trying to be the second girl on the water polo team. Is there only one? Yeah, let's take a look. Allie is a tremendous talent. She's been with us for four years. I've known Allie for 10 to 12 years now. She's been swimming for me since she was um, five, six years old. Uh, she's always been a tremendous worker. Any team she's on, any coach she's ever been for, you know, worked for, knows that she's always going to be one of the hardest workers every single day. Not only has Ali Lamman excelled for four years on the OHS swim team, but this year she's the only girl on varsity water polo. I started my freshman year after when I was younger my brother played and I would always go to his games and I thought they were really cool and there were girls on his team so I was like I could do it. She helps me out a lot with my swimming and my playing because She's 10 times better than me. <laughs> Allie's a really fast swimmer, and she's a hard worker, and she's definitely a presence on defense. She always tries her best on defense. It definitely makes me want to work harder, because like people say like girls aren't as tough as guys, but I want to, I want to be as tough as them, because I mean, we're all on the same team. Allie is also an inspiration outside the pool. Well, the reality is, you know, we do almost everything as a group. So JV and varsity is always together. So. Like I said, she's a good role model for the other girls on the team. In and out of the pool, she's like teaching us, like I guess, how to be a better person and how to be a better polo player all at the same time. I totally wouldn't be playing right now if it wasn't for her. And like my first week, like doing it, it's kind of like a confusing sport. So she really helped me like understand it better. I joined because freshman year I was doing swim, and she would always talk about how fun it was. And I couldn't do it that uh, my freshman year, so. I ended up doing my sophomore year because of her. You know, I don't really look at it as boy or girl, it's just that we're going to put the best seven in the water every time, and she's earned that spot and has continued to do so. With Jordan Peters behind the camera, I'm Rachel Lyle for Channel 97 News. Thirteen OHS senior athletes signed to play college sports on April 13th. Allison Frisella, Kelly Unwalter, and Brianna Colombo signed for soccer. Matt Miller, Raul Igizabal, Bailey Volsecki and Tyler Chambliss signed for baseball. Matt Heldorfer and Kobe Allen signed for football. Griffin Bailey signed for track and cross country and Jared Wall signed for water polo. Donovan Trichler for basketball and Austin Neal for wrestling. Josh Kunze was also recognized for being the only senior athlete to play three sports all four years. Congratulations to all these young athletes as they carry on their athletic careers. Last year, Katie Reed signed for softball to the University of Kentucky. Let's take a look at all the great things she's been up to since. Katie Reed dominated the softball field during her time here at OHS. A four-year varsity starter, this 2015 graduate was voted All-State three times and was ranked 32nd nationally out of high school seniors by EM Speed and Power Sports Training Facility. We always knew all along that she had the potential to be a big-time Division I softball player, but having the potential and going out and making the most of it, those are two different things. And now she's found success with the University of Kentucky softball program. Playing second base, number 23, Katie Reed. Um, the opportunity came open to come to Kentucky and be in the SEC, which is the best softball conference, so I took that opportunity. She makes great adjustments, and, and she's just a great person to have on your team because she's the type of player that makes everyone better around. She's actually a person that I look up to. She might not know that, but I look up to her. Her reaction time is so fast because she knows the game so much, and people people don't know the game like she knows the game. She has incredible instincts, and it's fun to watch. Her numbers speak themselves. She steals bases. She's 
She's got a high average. She's she's doing well. She's batting in the top of the order. Her, her defensive play is outstanding. After 47 games played, Reed ranked among the top hitters on the team with a 323 batting average. Defensively, out of 141 total chances, she has committed only five errors. A lot of players in the SEC, they're you know, really good, but they know it. And sometimes I don't think she realizes how good she really is. On the softball program, her name is going to be written all over the record books. Reed broke a Kentucky softball record with an 18-game hitting streak in February. She won SEC Freshman of the Week on February 22nd. That's not like what I'm working for, obviously, but it was nice to... I guess get some recognition for like a good weekend. She's arguably the best, you know, one of the best middle infielders we've ever had at Kentucky already just as a freshman. But softball means more than just practice and travel. Our team is really close. We're just a big family and everybody supports each other. As a friend, she obviously would do anything for you and she's there. So it's just been great so far. I couldn't ask for anything else. Good luck to Katie as she furthers her softball and educational career at the University of Kentucky. With Hannah Hoffmeister behind the camera, I'm Johanna Kerrigan for Channel 97 News. Tomorrow, the 26th, the baseball program will team up with Key Club to help spread awareness for Crohn's and colitis. We're doing an awareness for Crohn's and colitis. Uh, Emily Davidson from Key Club came to me a few months ago and asked if the baseball program would like to co-sponsor an awareness day with them. And we obviously agreed to do so. We have some students here. We're aware at Oakville High School that um, have both of those disorders so we were wanting to try to do something to raise awareness and raise some money um, so all of the profits and proceeds will go to uh, both of those foundations and we're just glad to be able to give to a good cause. Cass I am so much better at baseball than you are. There is no way I was unstoppable out there. Okay well let's have Oakville decide. Here's the story. Good luck to the Oakville baseball team on their spring season. With Taylor Hickey, Ellie Corner, and Scott Leaker behind the camera, I'm Madeline Jones. And I'm Cassidy Hamm for, for Channel 97 News. <laughs> Did you like that home run I threw in there for you, Madeline? Yeah, whatever. Well, that wraps up this edition of Eyes on the Tigers Channel 97 News. Be sure to join us for our senior broadcast on May 11th. Thanks for watching. I'm Madeline Jones. And I'm Cassidy Hamm. Remember, Oakville, keep your eyes on the Tigers.